time and no one seems to figure me out keep it up and move on Okay, I put my outfit on. I decided to go for a white t-shirt, this gray, like black and white skirt, and then top it off with a white headband. I'm gonna wear like Mary Jane loafers, type of shoes and socks. With them, it's gonna be 90 degrees today. So what I really should be wearing are short shorts and a tank top, but I want to look fashionable today. Yesterday I was hanging out with a friend and we were like thrifting, window shopping, all that. And we were talking about our styles and I've always kind of had a hard time like putting, like categorizing myself, but I think I'm like girly, preppy. I said like girly business cash. Cause I feel like when I dress up, I'm always wearing something of this genre. Are y'all not tired? It's seven in the morning. I'm getting ready and the fire alarm's going off. I just, don't y'all want to start your day? It's, yeah, it, it's not sucked. Don't you want to start your day in a good note? At least I was prepared this morning because it's, I need to go to school soon. So I'm just gonna walk and get breakfast at the dining hall so I can still be on time to campus. I was just gonna take a TikTok of my outfits this week. So I need to do that before I forget. <laughs> Weird. My class starts in a few minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit inside. Gotta see, and I need to reconnect to the Wi Fi. Second year. First day of class, or first class of the day is done. I have a meeting. It's SAS, and I'm uh, gonna push myself to do well. But my brain was already lost. But we're gonna have a meeting, and we have class. And Kelly's in my class, so I'm excited for that one. We're at school. Woo first, Woo first last day. First last day. First last day. First last day. And what are we doing on our first last day? We are on a walking tour in 95 degree weather. It's hot outside and there's these nasty little bugs. And we're stomping on the little bugs stomping to kill them. <laughs> I just got home, but I am out the door again. I'm going to go do some tabling for work and then I'll be home for the evening, but I still have one more meeting that I need to go to before we call it a day with meetings and stuff and then have to do homework and wind down. There's no table. So she's on the stairs. I'm so sweaty. I am so hungry and sweaty right now. <laughs> and I can't shower yet because I've checked my calendar and I have to go to meetings in person at eight and drop by. I'm like, I should say dress out of those and then shower after. I'm hot and sweaty and bothered. Matched and every single decision we ever make. You want to know the upside of this misogyny, this patriarchy, women need to become invisible I just got done with one of my many meetings for today. And I'm packing my lunch. I like to try to be as proactive as possible. Ugh. I made black bean and chicken burrito bowl. Get the fork, my snack, but an orange. I was like, is it better to peel the orange at home, put it in a baggie, and then take it? Tomorrow is a long day, so I'm gonna pack a lot actually, cause it's done until 8.20, so I probably should pack lunch and dinner actually. I am so tired. <laughs> From eight to nine, I have to go do drop-ins that these meetings are happening. So I'm gonna get hours, I'm gonna do homework. The inevitable. One of the classes I have tomorrow, my 8.30, there's nothing published on coursework, so I can't do homework for it. Finish with the day, I took a shower, I'm all clean, and I'm tired. I have some clothes on my dresser that I'm going to decide what I'll wear tomorrow. For now, we're gonna go to sleep. First day of school, 10 out of 10. Good vibes. Good night. Shoes on my eyes, outfit, color shorts. Ugh. I am having 
a bagel for breakfast. I am going to journal, it's that time of the day. And then I'm also going to edit a little bit of a video I'm working on this week. I need to figure out what my schedule times are gonna be since I have classes so late in the day. So I'm thinking, I also have noticed when I watch my videos back, I cut myself off a lot. Like I'll be in the middle of a thought and then I just switch topics. But I was gonna say, I don't like starting off the day doing any school work unless I've done something before it because I just feel like it sets the tone for the like the day. When I start my day like slow, getting ready, eating breakfast, journaling, the tempo's more calm. But when I start the day doing homework, since it's like can be a stressor for me, it kind of sets that tone for the day. Also, I used to not like cream cheese. I don't know. I just thought it was gross, but now I it's so good to me. Cheers. We're on campus now, and it's so early. No one is here. The class starts in 10 minutes. The goal for today is to survive. They're gonna be here for so long, but my friends are in my classes and that's what's gonna help me get through the day. So I'm just downloading some clips I've been recording for the video I'm working on so I can edit them later. So I left, I did some reading and I went to go walk around before I start class because I'm gonna sit for two hours or three hours. But campus is so small, so like I'm constantly running into people. <laughs> so I didn't even make it on the walk. But it's still good to be out in the sun and just like not be doing work all the time. But I do need to take advantage of these hours because I will not have time tonight because I'm going to bed once I get home. But we're going to Quant next. First day of the class was good. I'll debrief more later. Okay, I'm home from school. It is past eight. Our professor let us out early this week. So we got done an hour earlier, which is really nice. Came home all showered and clean. So it was actually really good. It made me feel like I was in high school where your professors are really engaged and really talkative and they're trying to get to know you and learn your names. And the topics are interesting. I'm taking a class on issues in school-based health. So there's like four topics of teacher burnout, um, gun violence, there's two others I'm forgetting. But like the partner schools will come we'll get to like create a deliverable for them so it's very like hands-on i'm taking a quantitative class that it goes over sbss so i'm learning that um, and then i'm also doing advancing health literacy and the professor honestly like the way she's talking about the class makes it way more exciting and engaging than i planned to so that was great got to see some friends but the vibe like it was like a long day for me but i definitely was just like kind of vibing real nice weather again it's hot like 90 degrees but tomorrow i don't start at 8 30 so i can go to the gym, do some homework before I'm back on campus. It is the AM and I'm going to the gym. I haven't been to the gym in a week because last week I worked out and then it was the weekend and I enjoyed myself. But I am going to the gym now. We're almost at the end of the week. Um, it's been good. I just want to kind of plan out how I'm going to be doing homework in the next couple of days. But going to the gym, it's a like day. And I've adjusted like my break days to fit around my school schedule. So I can still hit the gym, feel like I'm being physically active. And knowing that while like not like stressing myself to go to the gym on my long school day. So we're going now. I, ah, you guys move. I'm going to organize myself to know my to-do list for work, school, and then my other parts of life. So I'm gonna show you all how I organize myself. So the first thing I do is open up my planners. So I have two planners, which I've shared this before. I have my school planner and my work one and my other. So those are all like the three labels I have. So I'll put my classes down and I'll put homework down for those. For work, I put to-do lists that I've gotten through emails or directly from my supervisor. And then for other, it's just like miscellaneous things that I remember I need to do. The next one I have is my social media one. And I'm gonna be using this one like pretty seriously during the school year because it helps me know what due dates I have for myself. One of the things I like to do in this is I go to the month calendar. I have written and color coded like my plan. So like orange is like my edit these videos. My green is what video I should be filming. And then blue is what I'm uploading. So for like this week, I editing my back to school video while I'm filming my first week of school video this week. By Sunday, the goal is to upload a video of an editing this week. And then I have like film idea for next week. I 
just did a lot of stuff, which I'm glad. When I'm productive and get a lot of stuff checked off my to-do list, my brain just feels good. But I did a lot of work emails. I responded to a lot of those things. I did some agenda making for a meeting I have next week. I planned out some homework in my planner and started to check some things off. But it's getting close to class starting and I need to commute over to campus. So I'm gonna pack my lunch, pack my bag, and we'll head over. One of the hard things about being a student and commuting in New York is that if you're relying on the train and something happens, like what do you do? Like you don't have a car, you don't have anything else to do, you already paid to get through. Attention everyone, one trains are not playing the two. Today's classes were not that cute. I was pretty much in class for six hours straight because I had a three hour class and then a 10 minute break to go to my next class for another three hours and I was losing my mind. And now I'm simping, uh, I'm simping, uh, uh, uh. What do I do? Nothing. I'm gonna lie down. That's what I'm gonna do. I love you like a love.